Is there gospel in the Old Testament? Hey, Higher Things YouTube theologians, Pastor Wolfmuller here, doing some Old Testament apologetic-themed questions. Uh, it's one of the common mistakes when we start learning law and gospel that we think that law is the Old Testament, gospel is the New Testament. Law is when, Old Testament's when God was mean, New Testament's when God was nice. Well, we want to recognize that both law and God, well, first, mean and nice is not good equivalents for law and gospel, but also Old Testament has law and gospel as well as the New Testament. And where do we find the gospel in the Old Testament? Remembering that the gospel is the promise of the forgiveness of sins for the sake of the death of Jesus on the cross. So the first thing is where do we find Jesus in the Old Testament? And we'll remember that Jesus is in the Old Testament in three different ways, by picture, by promise, by person. So by picture, a lot of the things that the Lord arranges in the Old Testament provide a picture of what Jesus will do in his life, death, and resurrection. For example, the Passover lamb is a beautiful picture of the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. Or the Day of Atonement is a beautiful picture, not only of the death of Jesus, but also his resurrection and his ascension and his bringing his blood into the throne room of God in heaven. So Jesus is pictured there in the Old Testament. Jesus is also promised from that first and most important promise, Genesis 3.15, all the way to the seed promises to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Judah. The scepter will not depart from Judah till Messiah the king comes. To David, 2 Samuel chapter 7, where uh, your seed will sit on the throne. Um, and all the other messianic promises, which are so wonderful. See, for example, how Matthew starts his gospel with giving us the fulfillment of seven prophecies of Jesus. The virgin will conceive. His name will be Emmanuel. He he will bear our sins and our sorrows. Out of Egypt I have called my son. All of these great promises. Uh, they will look on him whom they pierced. See, he comes to you humble and riding on a donkey. Uh, some of the most beautiful places that the gospel is in the Old Testament is in those promises. And if you want to see a couple, I would point you to, well, probably most importantly, Isaiah 53, which describes how Jesus carries our sins by his stripes we are healed. That's the Good Friday text. It's beautiful. Also, Psalm 22, the prayer that Jesus prayed from the cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Beautiful. Beautiful promises. And then the third way is that the Lord is there by presence, which means he's, just, he's there. When the Lord walked in the garden with Adam and Eve, that's, that's Jesus. And when the Lord was in the burning bush talking to Moses, that's Jesus. When the when the angel of the Lord appeared to Joshua, that's Jesus. In fact, Jesus tells us this. No one in John chapter 1, no one at any time has seen God, but the only begotten God who is in the bosom of the Father has made him known. So that when God, when we hear God and see God in the Old Testament, it's almost always, not always, but almost always Jesus that we're hearing and seeing. So we also don't want to get into this idea that the Old Testament's about the Father and the New Testament's about the Son and the Church is about the Spirit. No, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, law and gospel, beginning to end. The theme of the whole Bible is the free justification, forgiveness of sins of all sinners through faith in Christ Jesus. Start to finish. So we rejoice that the gospel is there all over in the Old Testament. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.